<laughs> so look, they just touched on your beef with Nicki Minaj, right? Yeah. All right, so look, I'm gonna give you two choices. You can either look in that camera and squash the beef and apologize to Nicki, or look in that camera and just plead the fifth. Either one don't make me no difference. Oh, that's good, Bobby J. Who's thinking of some <laughs> I give you my cash app for that 5K, too. What you want me to say? You gotta say, Nikki, I apologize. Nick, I was wrong. Nikki, I and apologize. I, I was wrong. You're the worst rapper of this century. <laughs> Ah, G -G -Y. Mm. <laughs> what murder weapon do you think Nick Cannon killed hip hop with? <laughs> Was it a gun or his last album? I didn't even know he had an album, honestly. Oh! I Miss Iggy Azalea, how you doing? You're such a beautiful. I love those boots. Those thank are beautiful. You, you want to know what I don't love? What? Nick's music. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Mr. Cannon, you create opportunities for people. For example, the Wild and Out girls. Like you give them an opportunity to be more than just objectified on Instagram and social media. You get it. You right. get it. Right. So my question to you, with that said, Mr. Cannon, is would you allow your daughter to be a Wild and Out girl? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Hell nah. <laughs> Well, with that being said, what is it that the Wild and Out girls do that you wouldn't want your daughter to do? <laughs> I'm pleading this. Exactly. Oh, that's a good one. My bad. I'm sorry. I, I was outside paying my meter. Matter of fact, Nick, do you have 50 cent I can borrow? Uh, never mind. Uh, Mr. Ross. Right, right. I'm gonna get straight to it. Uh, you know, MMG, that's your label. So, uh, MMG is more than a label, though. It's like a family. Most definitely. You know, you guys like brothers. Most and brothers. as we all know, brothers, you know, fight sometimes. Right. And it was a well-publicized dispute between two of your biggest artists. So my question to you, Mr. Ross, is in a brotherly, friendly fist fight, who you taking, Meek Mill or Wale? Mm. I'm gonna plead the fifth. Exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry, I'm a little late. I was auditioning for America's Got Talent. Apparently, the last host didn't have any. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Nicholas Cannon, I noticed you've been working out. You, you did ab day, you got leg day on lock. You got on day on smash. My question to you is, out of all that exercising you do, why you always skip talent day? Because that's the day I'm begging your moms. And Wednesday. And Wednesday. That's not sufficient. Damn it, I plead your fit. Yeah, the man, she good, dog. She ain't playing yet. I want her to testify on my behalf. <laughs> What's up, Keisha? Hi. How you doing? What you got on your lips, Playboy? Lip, Lip gloss, gloss or something? Lip gloss. <laughs> Real talk, though, check it out. If Nick walked over here right now and wanted to kiss you on the lips, would you deny it or would you accept it? Is that a real question? A real question. Definitely deny it. <laughs> Hurt. Super dumb ass. That was dumb. <laughs> Y'all ratchet. Uh -oh. Y'all are ratchet. Boo. Mr. Youngster. How you doing, sir? Um, recently you've been seen on Instagram counting $2 million in cash. Me and my colleague here, we just have a simple question for you to answer. Listen. Do you think you got more money than my father? Oh, oh no! 
on, Big Snoop Dogg. Hold on. Hold on, Court. Hold on, we got to hear this. Ask it. I would like to call my lawyer up here. <laughs> call his I would lawyer. like to call my lawyer up here. I need help. <laughs> well, legally, you don't have to answer anything. You ever thought about switching? <laughs> you, <ever, laughs> you ever thought about switching your money to a credit union? Because you can get 2% interest. Think about it. <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. We need an answer, though. Please admit. <laughs> My boy, oh, my boy, my boy. Two, two. Two, two. <laughs> <laughs> boy, you dumb as hell, boy. <laughs> my man. No, no, it ain't no bad question. It's real. It's real. You know, you, you employ all of us, man. You know what I mean? Feed my family. Black Squad, take care. Red Squad, take care of y'all. You know what I mean? <laughs> you employ that dude. It's my guy. Y'all cool. Loyalty. <laughs> 11 years. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> but if you had a choice, you either got a fire, DJ D. Rick. Uh huh. Or cancel while and out. Oh. <laughs> He's out of here! Oh. Nick, 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 what's up, man? Appreciate yeah, you. I, I don't like that you're sucking on stuff, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Barnes, what's up, man? What's up, baby? Ah, remember you did that to Kobe? Ah, you remember that. <laughs> All right, but look, I ain't gonna keep you up here long. I know you got an S curl box to pose for or something, so, uh. My question to you is really, really simple, man. Uh, I want to know exactly what made you whoop Derek Fisher's ass. This just rules to the game. That's it. So you confirming that you whooped his ass? Absolutely. All right. So when? <laughs> All right, Matt. Look, I know my team has been making fun of you a lot, but <laughs> I just want to say I'm a really big fan. Like, when you played for the Orlando Magic, you were so good. It was almost like you were a real magician. And I just want to know, how did you do that one trick where you made all their playoff chances disappear? <laughs> so good. Lovely. I played the fifth. <laughs> have a very illustrious music and acting career. Illustrious. <clears throat> and you've been fortunate enough to work with some amazing females. Mm -hmm. Two of which are Zoe Saldana. Word. And Christina Milian. Word. So we want to know, in your opinion, who is the more talented actress, Zoe or Christina? Oh. Zoe. <laughs> See, now, I thought you would have said Christina, because she like she loved you for two years. The people in the courtroom today are watching you play plead the fifth. And we want to know five rappers that you can rap better than. Oh. Whoa. Nick, 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 Nick King. <laughs> we go see. We go see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hi, go Rack City. Pew, pew, pew. So, um, <laughs> quick question. Why did you leave Young Money Cash Money? Is it because Birdman didn't pay you? Or was it not young enough for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with the first one. Birdman right. did not pay you. Right. You heard that? Didn't pay Nick either. Come on now, DC. What's up, Nick? You good? What's happening, John John? Yeah, that's my name. That's my name. Uh, <laughs> if you had a trash can, right? Okay? Which one of these would you throw away? Okay? Your music career? Your movie career? Or her braids? Which one would you? Damn. Why? Sweetheart, I think your braids are beautiful. Your Nubian braids. 
But I love my music and my movie, so I'ma plead the fifth. Yes! Let them talk about you like that. Your braids are beautiful. Yeah! Bro. Hello, Nick Cannon. How do you do? I have a simple question for you. You own Incredible E&T, and you signed Justina and Charlie. Conceded hit man to that's your themes. So if in this courtroom you could choose only one of those artists to use to represent and make you a hit, well, tell us, Nick, which one would you pick? Who you running with? Which one you gonna pick, man? Well, freestyling, man, that is your gift. But I'm gonna tell you like this, I plead the fifth. <laughs> Nick Popsicor, what's going on with you, man? What's up, man? Just like my client, Soldier Boy, you also are from the hood. Southeast, to be exact. Southeast San Diego, you got a tight... Tatted on your, uh, she must be from there too. Uh, <laughs> uh, my question to you is, do you think that my client, Big Soldier, is capable of being from your hood? Yes. Okay, so what have you done to be a person that is capable of blessing people into a hood? Like, <laughs> what, what type of work have you put in in the hood? I'm a man of the community. I'm certified, man. I'm you talking about you? gangster stuff. <laughs> you have a, this is a gangster set. Gangsters. <laughs> I played the film. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Big Soldier, what's poppin' with you? What's up, bro? So look, you had some beef with, you know, throughout your career or whatever, so I just want to know, you was finna beat Bow Wow ass, right? <laughs> but you also got a tour with my dog, DC Young Fly. So who ass would you woulda beat worse, Bow Wow or DC Young Fly? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, I probably wouldn't put them hands on Bow Wow. <laughs> put them hands on him. It's intense at the court. Nicholas, how you doing? Well. Um, I, for one, I'm just sick of all the Mariah jokes, personally. Me too. We've heard all the Kim jokes, the Amber jokes. I'm sick of them. Me too. We need some new material. So. Who's someone you've slept with that we don't know about? Yo mama. <laughs> I knew I was black. <laughs> Get him, fly. What up, Bobby now? Soldier, what's, what's up? up? Okay. Hey, that was a great answer. That was a great answer. <laughs> that was a great answer. I just got one question I think everybody in the world want to know. When you put your arm around that dude, and you said, you know Big Soldier is from the hood, <laughs> when he pushed your stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> we all want to know why you didn't hit that <laughs> with the U. <laughs> oh, 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 I said, any moment now, he going to hit that <laughs> with the U. Nah, see, what had happened was, mm -hmm. <laughs> they got things out here called lawsuits, you dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm worth 30 million, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I, ain't, talk, I, ain't, talk. I ain't trying to get none of that. I ain't trying to cut nobody no check, man. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah, gang. <laughs> oh, that what you came up with? That what, that what happened. <laughs> that what happened. America, that was some bull <laughs> <laughs> What's poppin'? Get it. Hey, China. Hi, baby. I'm a fan of yours, so I'm not gonna ask you any disrespectful questions like some of my teammates. We're just gonna talk about some of the boys you've been with. So I'm gonna keep it real simple, mm -hmm. all right? <laughs> Mary Kill, YBN Almighty J, Tiger, and Rob Kardashian. Um, Kill Tiger, <laughs> Mary Rob, and <laughs> YBN. Get that check, baby. Uh, Miss China, or, uh, let me get straight to the point. So lately, you've had a reputation of 
dating rappers, you know, just to help them sell their music. <laughs> Would you ever consider dating Nick? Yes. My boy, we go back, man. Facts. You know, I've been knowing you for a while. You known to keep some bad niggas close to you, baby. I know about you, OK? I just got a question about two of your closest bad bitches, right? We're going to have a bad bitch contest and see who's in first place. Now, will it be Exhibit A? Con? <laughs> Very bad bitches. <laughs> or, or will it be Exhibit B? Give it to me. <laughs> now, D-Rack was doing, D-Rack was doing duck lips back in the 90s, baby. <laughs> we want to know who's in first place. <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> Jason Lee, wh which one's a better bitch to you? I just want to know your opinion. I ain't going to plead the fifth. I'm going to take Khan. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Andrew, sir, please. Yes, sir. I am your lawyer, and I don't need you to say nothing else, all right? Yes, sir. <laughs> now, Nick Tan, according to my documents here, uh-huh, you had a show that was on MTV called Wildin' Out that got canceled, right? You had a show that was on Fox. It was your, your talk show that was quite good that got canceled. <laughs> OK. Which fire hurt the most? Because, you know, MTV brought you back, but Fox said, you take your funky ass home. But, you know, neither one of them hurt because, like I say, you can't fire a boss. I mean, I mean, you, I mean, they still ain't called you back, so I don't... <laughs> That's cool. Make some noise for them. Delivered. <laughs> What's up, Nick? <laughs> hey, man, you give a lot of people opportunities out here, bro. You know what I mean? But the jury is still out on whether or not you're actually respectful to everybody. So, real quick, I've been here for two seasons. What's my full name? Brent Pella. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's been here since day one. What's his full name? Derek Batiste. Okay. Good job, Nick. Now, this cameraman has also been here <laughs> since day one. <laughs> what is his full name? I believe the fifth. <laughs> it's Ski. He's leaving. Ski, I love you. You're my favorite cameraman, though. I just don't know your full name. <laughs> That's a good answer, Nick. So check this out. I heard you used to date men, we all know, but now you date women. Congratulations. But out of these two women, which one you think will make you go back to dating men? Candy or Justina? Whoa. Well, I can't go back for something that I've been delivered from. Come on, so, somebody. I'm Crazy go ahead and get the I'm go ahead and get the real woman. Let's go. <laughs> So, 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 so dating a girl or make you go back to dating a man? A man? Oh, I can't, no, 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 no. I get only for women. I like Leon. Yeah. He ain't played yet, cuz come on. Let me try y'all get, man. My question ain't even for you. You cool. <laughs> I want to ask Nick some stuff. <laughs> you don't want No, because you be going on podcasts saying my name. Who the most hated cast member? <laughs> Colin, Colin, Colin. <laughs> I know we got past No, nah, we ain't got past nothing. <laughs> we ain't got past nothing. You on my team. I don't care. <laughs> my question for you is, you be wearing all these turbans, talking all this black power stuff, Black consciousness, black righteousness. Look at these wildin' out girls. Most of them is white. 
laid no, 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 right down. I'm not done. <laughs> Got all these kids, 50, 11 kids. <laughs> when you gonna have some kids with a black woman? <laughs> or for a black woman? When does this episode air? <laughs> <laughs> Some more kids on the way. Bible, please. Sorry I'm late, Your Honor. Uh, DJ D Rex Pillow is suing him, uh, and they <laughs> wanted me to take the case. I was glad to. Okay. Tyron, okay. Sorry, yes, sorry, sorry. Listen, yes. but we're going to keep this quick. My question is very simple, okay? <clears throat> Bring it to me. If you were driving on a sunny day and you happened to see Jake walk across the street, right. would you run him over? Or B, Get out and fight him again. Ooh. I'm fighting him off after he on the ground knocked out. Then I'm going to run him over. OK, OK. Exactly what I thought. Your Honor, th this case is dismissed, OK? He's delusional. He hasn't recovered from the fight. And instead of pleading a fifth, we're going to plead insanity, OK? Thank you. Hey, but I did not plead the fifth. That is true. He did not plead the fifth. You got a black card? Actually, no, dude. You don't have a black card, because I took that thing when you were face down after I beat your ass, dude. Yeah, I beat your mother Uh-huh. You want your black card back, bro? All you got to do is say one thing, bro. I love Jake Paul, bro. This dude right here, look. <laughs> there you go, right there. He didn't answer the question, dude. That's plead the fifth right there, dude. I got your ass. Dude. I ain't never pleading the fifth. Never. He don't play this game fair. What's up, A.B.? Just know my beef ain't with you, bro. That's them same boots SpongeBob was cooking burgers in. <laughs> I want to ask Nick. You owe my tea. I do not care. <laughs> We're not going to be here a long time, bro. People always come up here and talk bad about you. Oh, he got a bunch of kids. He do this, he do that. I just want to know one thing before we finish. One thing. You got a whole lot of baby mamas now, right? Yes. So look right at the camera and tell America which one of your baby mamas got the smallest crib. <laughs> Shit. Nick, you it can is. answer that. You can answer that. You can answer that. Nothing wrong with that. I plead the fifth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that'll do it. Uh, sorry, y'all. My uh, P.O. outside, he said I owed him some pee. Uh, that was Hennessy. Nah, nah, this pee needed to get hydrated. <laughs> this, this, this George had pee. I can sit there right here. <laughs> All right. Everybody interested in how many kids you got. OK. I ain't going to be rude, you feel me, and just ask you how many kids you got. You feel me? But you going to keep it a hard up? <laughs> what? You going to keep it a hard up? <laughs> yeah, keep it a yeah. Keep it a hard up. Oh, 100, yeah. I ain't gonna ask you how many kids you got. Just tell me all day birthday, just in case I want to get them some. Just in case I want to get them some. How many you got? <laughs> this show is only 30 minutes long. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Yeah. Now, Sean, yeah. I know you know a lot about beautiful girls, right? Yes, yeah, see. So, you know, I'm just trying to see. It's a couple pretty ladies on the stage. We got Mimi. We got Jesse Wu. We got Justina Valentine. Hey! So, I'm just trying to see, since you know so much about beautiful girls, who's the least beautiful girl on the stage? Let's go. <laughs> You better please. The least? The least. The least. Justine, I love you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up! Hey, that's how you keep it real with it. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> that's your Denzel? Yeah, that's, that's my Denzel right here. <laughs> That. Uh, cat! <laughs> what the hell going on, OG? Got a uh, real serious question now. We grew up off the series Friday. Now, we seen Friday, next Friday, Friday after next. You dig what I'm saying? 
And everybody who played a real character in those series, they, they did good. I just want to know from you personally, OG, who you think carried the Friday series? Is it you? Is it Mike Epps? Or is it Michael Blackson, Lil' Ugly? Uh, it's a two-part answer. Number one, Michael Blackson has never carried anything. Oh! God damn it. Fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. Uh, uh, but the second part is Ice Cube. Oh. Thanks. Mr. Williams, I just want to let you know it's an honor, man. I, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Real quick, you think Nick had sex with his new baby mamas to his old baby mama music? <laughs> Don't answer that. Nick. <laughs> no, you know what time it is. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. But look, Nick. Everybody coming up here making fun of your kids, talking about how many kids you got. But the thing that they don't say is you are a great father. That's why you can have so many children. I appreciate it. But as a great father myself... That's I'm, a great father, too. Oh, I learned from the Mr. best. Wilson That's an amazing, amazing father. father. Hey, don't call me with you. We're all amazing daddies up here. All amazing daddies, all amazing fathers. But as amazing fathers, you know there's a lot of responsibility that comes with fatherhood. Facts. So my question to you is very simple. You have, uh, you know, multiple children now, which you take care of. But let's just say that all of your children have an event on the same day, <laughs> at the same time, in different cities. Which one of your children's events are you going to come to in person? Nick, plead the fifth, Nick. Plead the fifth, Nick. I plead the fifth. Exactly. It's impossible. My team is fangirling over here. What's up, OG? Um, a lot of us consider you the GOAT, you know what I'm saying? One of the best of all time. So I got a quick question. So one of guys just magically appeared in front of you and said, Cat. If I put you on unlimited tours, but you got to open up for Kevin Hart for the rest of your career, and if you decline, he going to take every dollar out your account. You got to be broke for the rest of your career. Which I've, one would you I've been pick? broke four times already. You know, I'm too big <laughs> Five and five, four, three, two, one. Hello, we're here at WILD TV, and I'm here reporting with Jason Lee. Now, Jason, you keep it 100, am I correct? You're doing better than Sherry Shepard, yes. <laughs> wow. Goddamn, he is M E S S Y messy. <laughs> now, Jason Lee, uh, according to my investigatory work, I heard that you have. Beef with the queen of rap, Nicki Minaj. Uh, and I also heard that you had a little beef with media mogul Karen Civil. Now, if these two women were drowning in a lake, which one would you save? Please look at the camera and tell us your answer. And remember that you keep it 100. Which camera would you like me to look at? That one right okay. there. <laughs> That's a wild boy right there. So messy. Nikki, I love you. Boy, I'm hiding a mother for you entertaining, you hear me? <laughs> so look, they just touched on your beef with Nicki Minaj, right? Yeah. All right, so look, I'm gonna give you two choices. You can either look in that camera and squash the beef and apologize to Nicki, or look in that camera and just plead the fifth. Either one don't make me no difference. Oh, that's good, Bobby J. Who's thinking of some I give you my cash out for that 5K too. What you want me to say? You gotta say, Nikki, I apologize. Nick, I was wrong. Nikki, I and apologize. I, I was wrong. You're the worst rapper of this century. <laughs> <laughs>